Hey guys, it's Michael here from FlySight. In this video, we're going to talk about the new firmware update procedure for Windows. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to the wiki, and here's the URL. And then from there, you'll want to download the latest firmware. So click on the download link. And you can see down in the bottom left, it's downloaded. We'll open the downloads folder. And we want to unzip this file. So we right click on it and click on extract all. And it'll accept the default folder. And then we'll open up the FlySite update win folder. Next, we're going to put the FlySite into update mode. Uh, so we want the FlySite unplugged from the computer and turned off. And we're going to toggle the power, power switch quickly on and off three times. Then we're going to plug it in. Now, if we've done things right, the fly site should not appear as a drive and the light on the fly site should not come on. Uh, if it's the first time that you've updated the firmware on Windows, you'll need to install the driver. You can see in the bottom right here, the driver is not installed on its own. So let's click on this link and we'll go to the instructions. First, we want to go to the device manager. So I'm going to open up the start menu and I'm going to type device manager in the, in the search. And we'll click on device manager. You can see there's one unknown device that's marked with a little exclamation mark. So we'll right click on the unknown device and say update driver software. We're going to browse for the driver software. And I'm going to look for it in my downloads folder. So I'll select the FlySite Update Win folder, and then click OK, and then we'll click Next. You can see the driver is installed successfully. We'll close that, and we'll close the Device Manager. Now we can go back to the first instructions. If we go back to the FlySite Update Win folder, you can see there are two different versions of the update. Uh, for FlySites that are manufactured back in 2010, 2011, with serial numbers between 98 and 497, you'll want to use the Update 1287. For everything else, just use Update 646. And if you're not sure, it doesn't hurt to try the Update 646 first, uh, since that's the most likely one. And if it doesn't work, you can always try the other. So we'll go to the FlySite Update Win folder, and I'm going to use Update 646. So I'll double click on that. And you can see we've successfully programmed the FlySite. Uh, we have 100% programming, 100% reading, and validating was, success was successful. Now the firmware is updated, uh, all we need to do is copy a couple of files onto the fly site. So to do this, we're going to unplug the fly site, then plug it back in, and it should appear as a drive. We'll open the drive. If you want to keep your old config.txt file, uh, copy it or rename it now. So I'll click on it. I'll click a second time and I'll rename this to config old. Finally, uh, go back to the FlySite update win folder and grab the audio and config.txt and drag those onto your fly site. So 
So that's it. The fly site's completely updated at this point. Uh, since we've created a new configuration file, you might want to copy some settings from your old configuration file or just open the new config file and explore the new settings there. Thanks for watching.